So I think I found the next revolution in where Notion or those type of tools are heading. When I first found Notion, I loved it. You could basically do things you've never done in a productivity app before. You would open it and build whatever you want. That workspace was yours, the structure of it, the organization, and most importantly, it was personal to you. The concept of templates, the home areas that people build, the dashboards, the life OS systems were really marred upon the quality that you put into it. It allowed people to interact with their software in which they'd not done ever before. Now I want to explain something that I've seen over the last couple of months. I think it's going to be a really big trend or at least shape how we use apps in the short term. Right now, many people know about this Claude Code software. And I want to talk about the two parts of it. There's a Claude Code software and there's something called Claude Cowork that just released. So I want you to picture your perfect to-do list application. Something that is perfectly derived for your use case. Maybe it's something that focuses on notes. Maybe it's something that focuses on your experience or your feelings or health. Imagine what that looks like. And imagine that you had some capability into building that. Now layer on top of that, the fact that it could be dramatically less expensive than what you currently use. Hypothetically, you pay for an application in the productivity space. Maybe it's $10 or $15. And you basically occur those costs and subscription over the month. Imagine if I said to you, you can build your app that you perfectly want and you can pay maybe a fraction of that in API costs. Well, that's what I believe Claude Code, which is more recently been popularized, will allow individuals to optimize their setup to manage and operate their own productivity. Claude Code is actually really accessible. I tried this myself. Now, I found myself in the last couple of months chatting more with a chatbot into how my tasks were going across the day and combining that with journal entries at the end of a day. So it had context on my progress and my task management. Nine hours ago, I actually decided to build this using Claude code entirely. Now, don't get me wrong, it's super rough around the edges, even after nine hours, but the application will allow me to start storing tasks and going through my own system. What's crazy is so far, I've only incurred 26 cents worth of API paper. Now, of course, I'm nowhere near being finished, and that probably will not be the ongoing cost but the concept itself and progression of the software to build your own personal software and run it at a much lower cost is scarily accessible now. Now, Claude just doubled up on this, launching something called Cowork. It's only an early research preview and is only available through the Max plans. But the concept's quite simple. In the same way you could interact in building something that you need to, you can go ahead and create a file, crunch some data, organize your files, or even do things like send messages using only apps that are part of your device. This idea of being able to use your on-device knowledge to get things done is a great leap forward for non-technical individuals. Now, whether it's Claude or Claude Cowork, Claude Code has really reminded me of that first step that Notion took in terms of building something that would allow people to build things to their liking. Whilst people are saying this is the unlock for building software, I think it's the unlock for building your perfect software that connects with apps that matter most to you. Whilst everyone might not use it, it may be an opportunity to open a window into work that they didn't have before. For example, creating a modular type application that is so personal to them, run at a really low cost, or at least a lot less than this subscription would be. Personally, I think this is a really interesting topic right now, and this is why I'm keeping a very keen eye on what's happening in this space. If you're looking for new AI tools or resources like this, then you can join our newsletter. You can also get software savings as well. We'll find great apps and we'll make sure we get super software savings on it. So check out the newsletter below if you're interested. Let's keep an eye on this space. I think it's really interesting and I'll be navigate it and understand it with you. Anyway, cheerio for now.